Every day, more than 650 people walk out of Venezuela to escape the severe shortages and rampant crime. Sandra Cadiz and her daughter Angelis have joined the exodus, risking their lives instead of staying behind. Many cross legally into neighboring Colombia. Others take their chances at illegal crossings. Those without money for plane or bus tickets walk, like Cadiz and her 10-year-old daughter. But their destination isn't Colombia. They need to travel across two more international borders and thousands of miles to reunite with family in Peru, the distance from Los Angeles to New York City. Esta es mi hermana. They have few Esta possessions hermana, with them. Cadiz leaves behind a pregnant daughter and grandson, but carries with her the memories of two dead husbands, including one killed in a robbery, and a son who was shot to death. Their second night is one of the hardest. The temperature plunges to near freezing. Each day brings something new. Cars and trucks ignore the young girl sticking out her thumb. But some drivers will stop to give them a ride. Others give food and even money. They are readily identifiable by their Venezuelan backpacks. Despite the patchwork of help they find along the way, they know they can't rest easy. So far this year, some 142 Venezuelans have been reported missing in Colombia. Many have also become victims of violent crime. Days of walking take a toll on their bodies. They spend one of the nights at an empty gas station. When they collect enough money from donations, they buy bus tickets to take them to the Colombian border with Ecuador. Other migrants have also rushed to the Ecuadorian border, finding fewer opportunities in Colombia because of the mass migration. But Angelis and her mother quickly hit the road again. The Ecuadorian government is providing free bus rides for women and children to take them to Peru. After 20 hours, they arrive hungry and exhausted at a shelter at the border. No quiero mucho, no quiero tanto caminar porque hemos pasado por muchas cosas, pero que nos toca caminar igualito. Pasé dos países sin dinero y sin nada. O sea, los pasé bueno como por un milagro de Dios. The next day, Cadiz heads to a free medical clinic and gets much-needed antibiotics for her daughter. They catch another break, a ride to the Peruvian border checkpoint. They use their remaining money for a bus ride to Lima. After nine days and 2,700 miles, they finally arrive at their destination. Cadiz sees her son, daughter-in-law, and granddaughter, who left Venezuela months earlier. But their journey isn't over. After a few weeks in Peru, Cadiz wonders if they've made the right choice. Cadiz and other Venezuelans are finding they can leave their homeland behind, but not their struggles. Noreen Nasser, Associated Press.